Okay, let's talk about this life cycle of a cycad, okay? And it's pretty straightforward. There are a few places where you might get, might get stuck up or caught up rather. Uh, but let's start in this mature sporophyte stage, okay? So we've got a male and a female sporophyte. And we'll start with this female sporophyte and kind of zoom in here. And we've got the megasporophyll, which are these structures, and inside those are an ovule. And actually, where we're gonna catch up back with this is right here. But it's in this place where we've got meiosis. Meiosis occurring right here. And then if we go through the males, uh, we've got a microsporophyll with microsporangia, these smaller structures, okay? And looks like red is out. Uh, so we've got this microsporangia, and there are these immature pollen grains, and from those, these outgrowths occur and eventually we get our, our sperm as, again, meiosis occurs here. And we've got our, our sperm, which are in. And those sperm are going to fertilize this egg, which is in, inside this archegonium. And this tissue here is in. And also right here, this tissue is in, this female gametophyte tissue. Whereas now we have a fertilized embryo that's 2N and this seed coat as well is, is 2N. And finally, we have this seed and a sporophyte that's 2N and that can grow into either a male or a female sporophyte as it matures and start this cycle over. And so the, the keys to recognize are here in your book where meiosis occurs and to differentiate the ploidia where there are states where we have a 2N embryo that's surrounded by this, mega, this uh, female uh, gametophyte tissue. So, but that one's pretty straightforward. Um, little bit little little differences you'll this may seem different than what you're looking at now but you'll see a lot of these things as sort of a transition between what we are we have been talking about and what we're going to talk about in the future with flowering plants okay we're going to talk about pinophyta here and so we've got our vaguely sort of christmas 90s christmas decoration looking christmas tree that's our mature sporophyte. And if we go here to the microsporangia or, or the, these male cones, uh, we have a cross section here. We can see there's this little st uh, structures inside here looking more like this, this uh, microsporophyll. Remember, the fill means leaves. And then this microsporangium tissue. Uh, and then it's right here that uh, meiosis occurs right after, uh, excuse me, right at, right at this stage, pr previous to these microspore tetrads forming. And those are going to turn into a mature pollen grain, this little Mickey Mouse guy here. And eventually uh, this tube cell elongates as the nucleus for that and there's sperm that form as this, uh, and, and then the, the pollen grain germinates, which meets us here, and we'll take a step back, and be, we can have these ovulate or female cones, and inside those are this ovule with a megasporocyte, uh, the sporocyte, C-Y-T-E, that's gonna help you know it's a cell again, and right here, Meiosis occurs again, or in, in these organisms, and then we've got a, a functional megaspore that's in. Okay, so up here we're still 2N, 
uh, to go back here where n and n, uh, et cetera. And so we have fertilization, okay? And so this zygote is 2n, and the embryo here is 2n. But again, like when we were working with those cycads, this part of the tissue, the megagametophyte tissue that's between the seed coat and the embryo, that is N. Okay, and then those grow into a young sporophyte and, and finally into our large tree that again is gonna produce these female ovulate and male microsporangiate cones.